Hello everyone, my name is Ajay Potar. I am part of Informatica GCS team. As a part of today's presentation, we are going to see how to create Microsoft Fabric one leg connection in CDI or in CDI Elastic product. As a part of today's presentation, uh, we will be discussing on uh, this agenda, Microsoft Fabric one leg overview, Microsoft Fabric one leg connection properties, how to create Microsoft Fabric one leg connection and the demo. So let's try to understand what is Microsoft Fabric One Lake. Microsoft Fabric One Lake is a unified data platform that integrates diverse data source into a single environment. It offers unified storage, scalability, and flexibility for various data types. And uh, with the Microsoft uh, Fabric One Lake connector, you can read and write flat files and complex files format like uh, Avro, JSON, ORC, and Parquet. So this connector allow you to use one leg object as a source and target in your data mapping and mapping task. For advanced functionalities, uh, you can switch this mapping to advanced mode, which enable complex transformations and functions. Mapping in advanced mode can run on advanced cluster hosted on Microsoft Azure or on a self service cluster. Uh, now from IIDMC side, uh, we'll see how we can uh, create the connection and what are the mandatory details uh, specified while creating it. So these are the uh, connection properties for fabric uh, one leg connector. You can give a connection name, description which is optional. Type here will be Microsoft Fabric one leg connection. Uh, you need to enable the Fabric one leg connection in your runtime environment. If you have not enabled the Fabric one leg connection, then you need to specify the runtime environment name of the workspace in Microsoft Fabric one leg lake house path uh, will be the uh, path or name of the lake house present in the workspace authentication type to access Microsoft Fabric one leg is service principal authentication which uses client ID client secret and tenant ID to connect Microsoft Fabric one leg uh, Microsoft Fabric one leg endpoint will be the endpoint that you want to connect to by by default, it will be fabric.microsoft.com workspace. You can get these details for workspace name, lake house path, client ID, client secret, tenant ID from your Azure admin and update the attributes accordingly. Now let's see on demo, like how we can create a Microsoft fabric one leg connection from IDMC. Log into your uh, IDMC portal and click on runtime environment. So the first step here will be the enabling the Microsoft Fabric one leg connector to your runtime environment. For that, click here and click on enable or disable service connector. Click on connector, search for fabric. So you will see the uh, list of fabric connector here. So currently we are creating the connection for Microsoft Fabric one leg. So check this box and click on OK. So once you click on OK, the fabric one leg connector will be enabled for this runtime environment. Now let's create the connection. So for that click on connection, new connection. So once you click on new connection, this UI will display. So you can mention the connection name as a fabric one leg. Type here will be the uh, Microsoft fabric one leg. So once you click on uh, the type, it will display the rest of the attributes for creating the Microsoft Fabric one leg connection like Microsoft Fabric uh, one leg properties here into it specify the runtime environment where you have enabled the one leg connector. So in the connection section, you have the uh, these attributes like workspace name, like house path, authentication type, client ID, client secret, tenant ID, which you need to uh, get these details from your Azure admin and update the parameters accordingly. So I have already created a fabric one leg uh, connection with the uh, fabric one leg details. Now let's perform the test connection. So the test connection is successful here. Now let's try to uh, import the file from this uh, fabric one leg connector uh, in our mapping or mapping task. So for that, go to the data integration, create a new mapping. Once you create a new mapping, click on source. 
so under this connection tab select the fabric one leg click on object so you will see the uh, the root directory which is slash so under the root directory I have GCS fabric workspace so under this workspace I have the uh, multiple lake house so I will click on GCS uh, lake house click on files so it will list the uh, all the files which is present on this uh, fabric lake house so I will import this uh, CSV file here now you can see uh, like we are successfully able to import the file from the workspace using the uh, fabric one leg connector you can use this uh, file as a source or target in your mapping or mapping task in CDI or in CDI advanced mode. Please refer this documentation if you need more details on Microsoft Fabric One Leg Connector. We will love to hear from you. You can send us a mail to support videos at informatica.com or tweet us in https twitter.com slash infasupport. Thank you.